Wildcats here today. It'll be, again, Moss to the near side and Courtney Keith to the far side as Oleg Parents sticks his hand in the air, puts total leather, line drive kick that'll go all the way out of bounds to start off the ball game. I'm not sure Oleg, plenty of action. Lewis actually got the start here today. And the keeper by Broderick Waters. He has stopped in the backfield. Taz Foster and Alante Toppins in on the play. And if they can do this all day, I like what I see from this defense. I think we're going to be a okay. Yeah, initially, you know, we've been out of position on a couple of plays, but right now they're starting to get their gap integrity back. Big one can break. Now, there's Cornelius. He gets oh, off wow. a booming punt all the way back to the 15. That is fumbled. It's a loose ball, and it's going to be picked up by Ryan Smith, and he has it at the 10. Are you kidding me? Yeah, good job of Smith. He'll, he won't get to advance it because it's a muff, but he will get the ball on the 15-yard line. It'll be second down and 11. Now Reed back to throw, going to the end zone. Wide open to Detron Robinson. Touchdown, North Carolina Central. Put it on the board. The Eagles can tie it up here with an extra point from 16 yards out. Jordan Reed has done it again. That gives him nine touchdowns on the year. Awesome job by Jordan Reed of holding the safety by looking off to the left and then coming back underneath to the tight end who ran sort of a delay route right there. Let's see if they can get a stop here on third down and eight. There's Williams back to throw. He's got to be pressured and sacked. (laughs) <laughs> Who was that masked man? Is that Taz Foster in on the play? It is. The MEAC player of the week brings down Quinn Williams. The Eagles will bring out the punting unit. Yeah, nice job by the defense right there. And a timely delayed sack as a delayed blitz as the Eagles were able to get to the corner. Play clock down to seven. Snap in the handoff to go forth. Go forth breaking a tackle to the 45. Another tackle to the 46-47. And that's what he's got to do. He's got to make those moves going downhill. Reed with two backs in the backfield now. One receiver on each side. They're going to hand it off to Clark. The Brahma Bull busting forward all the way to the 30. He'll move him forward all the way to the 28. That'll be a gain of eight on the play. In 10.04 to go. Reed, three-step drop. He's going to have time to run with it. He's going to let it go. He's got a man open. Oh, Pro- yeah. Roberts with the touch oh, yeah. at the five, and he gets into the end zone. Jordan Reed stepped up and threw a bullet between two defenders, put it on the board. We got an extra point pending to tie this thing up at 14. Funny thing, Jordan did a box drill that we were just talking about when we were watching him do it before the game. We are like, that'll come in handy. So at some point during the game, he stepped up, he moved left, and then he stepped in and fired a strike down the middle. And Dakota did a good job of staying in bounds and getting to the end zone and not giving up on the play. Cloudy here today. There's Quentin Williams on the keeper. Now he's going to run to the outside, fooling the Eagle defense. Nice job by Malik Cromartie to cut him down as the Eagles were fooled on that play partially. Nice job by the Eagles, though, to bottle him out, get him outside, and that's what you got to do on that type of situation. Yeah, Proctor did a good job of squeezing, but he got caught down, and I thought he was held on the play, but they didn't call it. But fortunately, the outside support was still able to get there in the cover two zone that we were in on that play. Get themselves in the driver's seat. There's Williams. He's going to be pressured. He's going to be sacked down behind the line. Who knocked him down? Looked like Xavier Proctor was the one who knocked him down at first. Tyrone Jackson got in on the play as well, or DJ Coke, as you could say, as well. And it'll be (laughs) third down and 11, a loss of one. Nice job there by the Eagle defense. Yeah, good job of getting pressure on the edge. And then he, as he stepped up in the middle, the middle just kind of tightened up, and they pushed it pushed the uh, offensive line in on him, and there was nowhere to go but down for the quarterback on that play. Half, 31 to go, first and 10. Williams will roll out. He's going deep to a man, and it's there picked up by Malik Cromartie at the 12-yard line. Huge play by the senior from Elizabethtown, North Carolina. Fourth interception of the year. That could not have come at a bigger time for North Carolina Central at about the 12-yard line near side. I kept waiting for us to get out of that under on that play right there, and, and when you get to that through receiver side, they were rolling out every time. That time we put a little bit of a box coverage, and it allows Camardi to be able to play coming up instead of running back. And uh, with the extra guy on the backside being checked by the t- by the inside linebacker, it made it a lot easier to make that play, and they put their better guys in position. to make Williams with two receivers on each side. There's the low snap. He's back to throw again. Pressured, and he'll throw it straight. Woo, Stroud drops the pass, and Mark Lewis springs the hammer, and the pass will fall incomplete. Third down and ten. That's how you drive on the football. You drive on the man, inside the man, or through the man, and he drove through the man. May be tenth in the league in that category, but it's still pretty good. Williams back to throw. He's going to be pressured. And Xavier Proctor will be given credit for a sack there as they drop him back at the 40. 
748 yard line. It'll be fourth down and 10, and Coach Frazier calls a timeout. Over 400 on the season. Hand off to Andre Clark, busting all the way to the 40. Give him five yards on the play. What a great job by the fullback on the block right there. Eagles and the Wildcats tied at 14 with the ball in the middle of the field. Reed looking left. Now he's going to look down the field. He's got a man open. Irvine with a A tremendous catch across the middle at the 22. First down, and the Jet has just recorded his 157th catch here at NCCU. Just 53 more to catch Robert Clark. (laughs) Good luck with that, but still, (laughs) nice job right there. G on the dig route doing a very good job of keeping his concentration as Jordan delivered it low where he had to. Oh, here's Willison to snap. Good snap. Good kick. Kick is up and good. 7.23 to go here in the third quarter. Eagles take the lead. 17-14. Andre Clark. There's Reed. Dumps it off to a wide open. Dakota Roberts. He's all the way at the near side of the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. Dakota Roberts with his third catch of the day and gets a first down for North Carolina Central. Good job right there, and that's what I was talking about. Hit some crossing routes. Give a guy a chance in space to make a few plays. You get a touchdown here. You're still in this ball game. You just got to figure out how you're going to solve your defensive woes right now. 